the alien or no the alien craft landing uh whatever it may be uh there, there's also it, like these several still shots of what you know could be described as extraterrestrials like moving around uh just still these still photos of what seem to depict extraterrestrials um mm. So so Exler went went ahead and made uh made arrangements uh to head up to where they believe the site to have been. Uh so May 10th uh 1991 uh you had Tom and Lise uh Theophanus, uh you know Tom who had originally re received the the first one to the, receive the, the guardian OG guardian. <laughs> uh, you, you had Victor, Victor, Victor Lorenko, uh, Von Killen, uh, Drew Williamson, Harry Tokars and Wayne St. John Killen. Oh, baby. <laughs> That's a cool fucking name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I said, I told you earlier, a lot of these names sound fucking hundred percent made up and Von Killen is one of them. Um, I'm going to say, guy go builds to here right the now. deepest bunkers. Um, <laughs> Tom Theophan Theo Theophanus 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 yeah. Theophanus um, yeah he he gives me some real Peter Parker vibes where he's like only I get pictures of Spider Man <laughs> where he's like only the Guardian sends me stuff I'm like isn't that convenient there Tom I think we should be looking at Tom a little harder <laughs> uh, I want a picture of his thumbprint uh and so they all met with exler and his son and also along with graham lightfoot uh, which they called up so it's, it's you know because he was familiar with the area and they kind of all went in and they uh they met at uh at a motel that he was staying at in west carlton uh near ottawa ontario um i think they they all watched they all reviewed the footage and the evidence that they had and then they kind of made plans that before or after they put all their keys in a fucking fish bowl and <laughs> had a good time <laughs> um yeah. so you had a, the, a little abdu abductee <laughs> uh and so they all went on to go ahead and try and and figure out uh they, they were determined to find out if there was anything to support the claims that were being made in the guardian documents uh actually kind of made the i i feel like he made like the the singular or like a unilateral decision that uh, that he felt that it would have been it was going to be useful to actually have the video aired on Unsolved Mysteries in order oh, to try and find that's where the money is man maximum that's impact that's where the money is. well his yeah. his but also that too it's like this is the 90s this is America's most wanted all like this is yeah. the prime time for that shit of like flushing out getting all the tips getting everybody to call right in, that right? was that like, was his justification was that if if we put this footage out there we'll have a better chance of it finding uh either guardian himself or somebody who may have information who now, guardian listen, if is. i if i do all the reenactments as well and i star in it and i'm the lead witness and i make it sound like this is my case probably has a better chance to <laughs> said bob exler yeah and he's like he's like maybe this will kick kickstart my uh my acting career uh, I'll get I'll get recognized. And who's that guy in the reenactment? He's good. Uh, now, He's a hand model. Uh, the large group of of UFO researchers, you know, Exler and and Et Al, and all of them, all got together and they went out to where they thought, you know, they, their best estimate uh, according to the maps that had were contained within the Guardian uh, documents. Uh, they went out there to go look and see if they could actually find the site. Now, according, I believe to to Tom Theophanis uh they didn't seem to really find they weren't able to find anything but exler um seemed son. to exler and his son would go um after they got to the air like the general area of where they believed the landing site to be they all kind of split up at some point and then when they all i, I guess they all kind of lost track of like exler and like his and his son it kind of went off in a, a certain direction and then um everybody went to the other direction i think most of the um like Tom theophanus and all of the people pretty much i think like most of the canadians all kind of like went back and like well we can't really find anything it's gonna be kind of pointless to walk all around and you know we're gonna go back and hang out at the at the parking lot where they parked oh, I, uh, fucking they're you know what they're having they're having some fucking road pops there sit the back shoot the shit That's the best you know part. maybe it's just an, it was too nice Canadian a day to be trekking that. through the swamps of like where they were at you <laughs> know it's just like ah, you know it's, don't need to do this i got some um, beer in the back of the pickup you know everyone's <laughs> like oh yeah uh but when they all reconvened later exler uh, seemed to be convinced that he had found the location, the definite location, or at least evidence uh, indicating that there, where the craft had landed. Like he, he was pretty much sold on that. Um, 
uh, though I don't think they ever kind of went back to exactly to to where it was. Um, but he was sure that he had he had found it. And I think his son kind of backed him up on that. Was his a uh, <laughs> his a. Uh, independent corroborator yeah, fucking back story. me up you're sleeping outside you old yeah. bastard <laughs> meanwhile his son had a red handprint on his cheek no one knows <laughs> why uh and so following the, the following three months after uh, after that uh you know uh expedition uh the the preparations were being made for the shooting of the unsolved the the, the segment that would air on unsolved mysteries so after that the uh, like in November of 1992, apparently Graham Lightfoot uh, would meet with a man uh, who they believed uh, knew the identity of who Guardian was. Uh, you know, after the this is after the airing of you know uh, of the of the unsolved, unsolved mysteries, mysteries and things like this, and kind of you know trying to follow up on what uh, the unsolved mystery. Um, episode would go on to air but no more details about who guardian was uh were forthcoming so he didn't really have anything but lightfoot like continued to investigate about who it was and they still kind of asked some questions about um he may have gotten like one tip about i kind of somebody knew something um uh, now he met with a man who claimed that his friend uh bobby charlebois is it charlebois 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 Charlebois. Charlebois. <laughs> Charlebois. Yeah. Uh, uh, apparently uh, uh Bobby had an uh, was kind of known to have an ongoing interest in UFOs and at some point uh had referred to himself as Guardian in the past. <laughs> Is this nickname. Call me the guardian. <laughs> call me the guardian. It's like nobody's going to call you that. It's a like, self-given what? nickname too, kind of like Dragon, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dragon, <laughs> Dragon, common, guardian. Common What's Canadian practice to give yourself a, a well, nickname. Yourself. A nickname. <laughs> we, like we have a superhero named Guardian, right? He's part of Alpha Flight. Like it's this a popular true. name for us Canadians. All right, so maybe he was just a you know he's a Marvel fan. Like maybe this. he was Alpha Flight's guardian. It, maybe he was. <laughs> um, and and there were others who kind of confirmed this that uh, that hey Charlebois... you leave her alone eh <laughs> just outside the bar just uh, and bad guys um and then so uh, when when Graham went to go investigate like kind of the connections that Charlebois had in like the community it was confirmed that from other people that yeah this guy had a definite interest in UFOs and when uh, Graham. You know, Lightfoot asked, you know, went back and actually spoke to to Diane Labanek, and it was confirmed that she was at that Charlebois was a good friend of hers who actually visited her often. Um, and so it, it, they kind of came up with this. Uh, well, like, I guess, like the UFO researchers were kind of being like, well, we don't really know if this is the guy they couldn't. He, he was kind of elusive. They couldn't really find him. They couldn't really contact him um, directly. So they actually they kind of tried to convince Diane to get like get his fingerprints on a glass, like invite him over. There's they try to like, I don't know, do some. Yeah, they, were doing, they were doing detective <laughs> we just, work. some right. true lie shit, like yeah. dance for him. Um, <laughs> Diane. <laughs> Get a fingerprint on your ass. <laughs> they got her. They got her. Like, Dance sexy, eh? Yeah. Um, and so when they, uh, uh, but apparently, like, they were never able to. Th that that plan never really. Uh, Put on your best flannel. <laughs> that plan never came to fruition, so there was no confirmation of whether his prints were the one that had been um, that had been on the tape. Uh, um. <laughs> uh so there there are some other you know bits and pieces to the case um but but mostly uh you have uh a lot of the ufo researchers from mufon and qforn kind of still still sit on the side that this was perhaps most likely a hoax that they that the, the Whoa, documents that they had there. Sent, yeah we we got more stuff to go on here yeah, i got loads is, more because i would say you like fucking dig into it yeah, let's dig, 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 dig. Bit, because if you, if you're if you're yeah. just looking at what we went over and then the unsolved mysteries, I you could look you you I could see you leaning to that direction. But there's there's more to this case than just the unsolved mysteries, and this and these messages. Yeah, and like you said, there's more to this case. One thing that I did find about this case was I really enjoyed was uh, CBC special UFO Town. Yeah, fantastic. If you have time, watch it. 
Uh, it kind of centers around Ian Rogers. I don't know, Dan, if you know Ian Rogers, he writes books. <laughs> it does horror and fiction. You love books. So. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.